Wisconsin. What Wisconsin did to them in 06 in the national game. This one with a second to go. Congratulations, the Boston College Eagles are the 2010 NCAA Division I champions. There will be a the ward presentation. There will be the line and the teams passing congratulations along to one another and for the Boston College Eagles. Just a tremendous show here in the Frozen Four. And let's check in with a man who had a lot to do with this win. Clay. That's right, Gary. Uh, you had two goals here tonight. And what was Jerry York's game plan to get past these big bat badges? You know, uh, we know they had some big defensemen and some big boys, and uh, we got four lines I can play, and uh, we just needed to play eagle hockey. You know, we got four lines, we're really deep, and uh, we got some great speed. We just got to take the DY and hopefully draw some penalties, and that's what we did, and we capitalized on the power play. Cam, you were telling me this week that when you got teamed up with Whitney and Gibbons around early January, things changed. What clicked with that line? You know, we needed a change, and uh, when they put Gibby and I together, it was like. It was awesome, you know, we, we, we just connected right away and uh, we just had a great chemistry and we, we played similar and, uh, you know, it couldn't have been any better. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Gary. Cam yeah, Atkinson, who is only a sophomore with the two goals in this game. Why didn't Jerry put those two guys together earlier? Would have been a better team. <laughs> Let's go down to Clay. I'm here with John Muse and John, uh, congratulations. You're eight and zero in postseason games. Where do you find your focus in the postseason? Uh, I don't know if it's so much me, but my whole team. Uh, when we put up five goals a game, it's, it makes it a lot easier for me. Everyone said John Muse had an off season last year. Come to find out, you had a bad hip. You had surgery in April. How did you stay positive during those tough times? Uh, it was difficult, but you know, it, it, it's for the best. Uh, I had to take some time off, um, but you know, luckily I came back how I did third title at Boston College for Coach York. What does this mean for the players to give him another title? That uh, means everything. Uh, he's a great coach, and I wouldn't want to play for anyone else. John, congratulations. Thank you very much. Gary? A winning goaltender right there who keeps that postseason mark pure. The awards, including the most outstanding player here in the Frozen Four, as the Boston College Eagles come off the bench to celebrate their fourth national championship, 5-0. Johnny Mew celebrating it, his 19th of the year, victory-wise, as he ended up 19-8-2 on the season. Ben Smith voted the most outstanding player here in the Frozen Four. Congratulations to Ben, who had a goal tonight. Now the championship to be awarded. Let's go to Clay on the ice. All right, Gary, I'm here with Bill Bellarose, the NCAA Division I men's ice hockey chair for the presentation. First, congratulations to both Wisconsin and Boston College for a great season and a spectacular game tonight. And now it's my pleasure to present the Frozen Four National Championship Trophy for 2010 to Coach Jerry York and the Boston College Eagles. Congratulations. Coach, congratulations. This is your fourth national title, your third with the Boston College Eagles. What makes this one special? Well, first, Clay, I'll tell you that Wisconsin is a, the best team we've played all year. Mike Eves did an outstanding job with that club, and it was a very hard win for us to get here this evening. So hats off to the Badgers and Mike Eves. I thought our, the key to us, of course, was terrific defensive zone play. Johnny Muse was very, very sharp, and we're going to bring it right back to Commonwealth Avenue. What did you tell the team before the game tonight? Well, we just talked about uh, of the three championship teams I've had. They would they work hard and they had great discipline, and we wanted to be the exact same as those three clubs. And that's what differentiates: just hard work and discipline. Coach, there was a spot in January where things weren't looking so sharp. You went three and five in that month, but then something clicked. What was it? I have been easier about that month. Uh, I thought our senior leadership uh, held us together and. 
we had a couple of injuries. We come back from them, and uh, but I can't say enough about the senior class. It's as good a uh, leadership class as I've had a chance to coach in 37, 38 years. Whatever. Let's talk about that senior class. What a way for them to go out. Yeah, no question. Uh, they've won two champion national championships, and these are hard to get. And uh, during their four years, but I've also competed so very well in, in the classroom. They've represented Boston College like we like, and uh, my hats off to all of them. Gary, congratulations. Thank you very much, Clay. Gary. All right, Clay, thanks very much. So the championship of Division One college hockey stays in Boston. This is going to be the other end of the avenue. Chestnut Hill gets it this time, as BU had it last year. And certainly these uh, Eagles put on a show here in this championship because they just, Barry, they just dominated in play. And obviously the, the, the best team is in the eastern part of the United States. They hammered Miami of uh, Oxford, uh, arguably the best team in college hockey during the regular season. Uh, a team like Wisconsin, who we thought didn't have any weaknesses and, and really were both shocked that they weren't able to score a goal against BC to do this against Wisconsin uh, is unbelievable. This team is great defensively. They work really hard. The goaltending's there when they need it. And, and uh, they took it to a team that, that we both thought was maybe better than, than BC. So unbelievable yep. job by Jerry Ark. Unbelievable job by BC. Yep. Uh, in the game of hockey, it is always about effort, Barry. And you, if you keep playing, good things will happen. And BC just does that as a matter of course and the recipe talk about the size of the forwards are smaller than everybody they play but they play harder than everybody they play and that's what jerry york was talking about just fantastic effort by those small forwards and everybody great working with you again as usual man yeah great frozen four continues to be one of the outstanding ncaa tournaments and boston college will take that trophy home 5-0 the final over wisconsin for more on this game, tune in to ESPN News. Coming up next on ESPN, it is going to be baseball tonight. The preceding has been an exclusive presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. On behalf of Barry Melrose, Clay Matvick, and our great crew here in Detroit, we thank all of you for joining us, and we congratulate those Eagles on the fourth national title, Division I College Hockey. From Detroit and Ford Field, it's the Eagles. Good night.